There's a small little red pixel on the cam. Wait, I see that right here. Wait, what the hell is that? That's Jim. Don't hurt him. All right, fine. Ah. <laughs> it might be a stream sniper. Get down. Oh, 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 shit. Sniper at Joel's armpit. Bro, whoever the sniper is has terrible crosshair placement. I got to coach the sniper. <laughs> My name is Jules. I'm a radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hey, Jules. I'm a small streamer in Bronze 1. My friends are all in high elo, and I would like to know how I can improve. Is my game sense all right? How can I improve my aim? Bronze 1. All right, let's take a look. Howdy. Howdy, partner. All right, chamber lock in. All right, let's see. What do we buy first round? Uh, okay. Already a mistake. What is the mistake, chat? Always got to spend all of your money first round. All right. So, yes, this trip is good if they decide to long flank. But what happens if they go through here, right? What happens if they go this way? Well, they won't trigger, right? Could. We need to clear everything when we're coming out, right? Crosshair placement. Careful, we didn't clear. Okay, we need to clear things before we make. We got to make sure we're clearing corners before we're pushing into sight. Otherwise, someone's gonna be hiding around the corner. Won't happen to us. You know what I mean? All right. So also crosshair placement, right? We always want to make sure our crosshair placement is head level. You know what I'm saying? Actually, let me see. See. We're not ready for that. Your your crosshair should be an extension of your eyes. Wherever your eyes are looking, your crosshair should be, unless you're looking at the minimap, of course. But always keep it head level, okay? It's very important that you have head level crosshair placement, right? Do you think aim is purely what makes a good chamber player? No, not at all. Aim can only take you so far. All right, so we went the Marshall buy. It's not bad. Uh, I do, however, not really recommend lower ranked players buy the Marshall. You dinked him to the wall, actually. But Spectre full armor is way better for you, usually, yeah. Ah, so this is where the trip would have came in handy, right? This is where having the trip on the stairs, like I mentioned, would be very handy. TP save him, yeah, but trip saves him more. That issue wouldn't even have been a problem if we had a good trip, right? Oh, you saw him. Nice. Good shot. They flanked again. Down a. All good, though. One enemy remaining. I mean, your patience with the marshal is actually really good. You see how our crosshair placement, when we're clearing? You see? So where our crosshair should be when we're doing this, right here. And it should be here. 62. Reloaded. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we actually got value from our trip. Uh, crazy that we did, but we did. Oh my god. Get the gun upgrade. So we're kind of standing around a little bit too much. I also would have upgraded the gun from the Yoru. Oh, we're back? Okay. Uh, wait, scoop up. Gun priority, right? Marshall is okay. Phantom is a lot better. Break it, man. We're so scared of the trip. Break the trip instantly. Who cares if they know where you are? So again, patience is good. Better players will punish you for this, though. Yeah, okay. You do have good raw aim, but... <laughs> no, you're, you're hitting good shots. <laughs> you are hitting good shots. Nice shots. I will. Uh, you know what? Nice shots. But be careful. I guess you'll start realizing it once you start climbing higher. Better players are gonna hard punish you for this, like being a little bit too slow, right? We have to start speeding it up a little bit. I would definitely pop my ult this round. Yeah, and we go full armor. If we are gonna pop our ults, buy the full armor. Careful, could be pushed up here. They like to do that. Careful! Whoa! 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 whoa. There's one showers. Close to you, right around the corner, yep. Also, if you're by yourself, we should be walking. Okay, this man's running around like a maniac. Yeah, actually. One flank. Other one probably spawn here. Elbow, yep. Elbow, elbow, look at the mini-map. Okay, so anytime you start hearing gunshots or someone's dying or getting kills on the feed, look at the mini-map. It's very important that you do that. One enemy remaining. 
Okay, so if we are gonna hold like an open angle like this, we should be using our TPs. It was a good shot. Nice shots. Okay, so here we are like bursting and our recoil isn't resetting when we are shooting. So what I would highly recommend is going into the practice range and really practicing just bursting a couple shots and finding exactly when your recoil resets, right? And how many shots it would take to do that. It's very important. A shot. Good. Good, good, good. Crosshair placement. Okay, so if we are going to crouch, or if we are going to spray, we're going to commit to it. It's not It's not bad. We should go into a crouch. Because they're initially going to be aiming at your head if they see you. And then when you crouch, they have to readjust again, right? Nice. Oh, reloading. Ooh. Okay, we do not need to be reloading right away. We're watching episode 10 right now. OG Naruto. It's pretty good, dude. Some of the arcs were really good. There's also some really boring stuff. Ooh. So we should never be taking space or pushing while we do not have our gun out. We are going to get punished for it, as we can see. A little risky here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not the worst. What are we doing? We're, we're, we're dancing around. Pick a place and retake from him, man. Is that your pup? That is June, yes. He needs to clear comms. Nothing done, shall we? Good. Clear comms, man. Are we clearing? We didn't clear. Okay. Nice, nice, dude. Okay, reloading too much though. You see how many times we just reloaded? But you do have a three, three K. Get that fourth. Okay, for the twelfth round. Good stuff. Mm -mm. Did you watch Gate? Like Stein's Gate or what? With bomb, Yoru. Yoru really did that with bomb. Is he throwing? Oh! Sheesh! He is him. He is him! They are them! Get that ace! Go! Go! No, no, you here, yeah. On the left, on the left, man! In the corner! Jumped, yeah! No! <laughs> Everyone's knife out so you get the ace! Nice! <laughs> nice! W, W, W! What do they do well in the session? All right, all right. So I got this one. So I actually really like how you are very patient with your aim. A lot of the times people panic a little bit too much and just kind of flick their mouse and shoot. You, on the other hand, you wait, right? And then slowly line up the headshot, especially with the marshal, and then you get your kill, which is good to do. Uh, sometimes though, it is a little bit slow. So you do want to start to speed it up, but the idea is really good. And I do like the patience. Um, a lot of people, I think struggle with that. So what should they spend time practicing before the next session? All right, here's going to be the big one. Okay, so this is going to be a lot. All right, but I want to kind of touch over the main points. I did write a lot of points down. So you could go back in case I miss it here in the auto recap. But I really want to talk about crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is a very important thing. And a lot of the times I'm noticing that we're aiming around their feet or something like that. We're not really having it head level, right? So with crosshair placement, wherever you're looking, wherever your eyes are looking, that's where your crosshair should be. It should be an extension of your eyes. And a good way of practicing this is going into a death match and having a good crosshair placement at head level or, or think that it's head level. And then when they come around the corner, ask yourself, am I close? Am I off? Right? So crosshair placement's a big one. Utility, okay? So with your trips, you should be tripping flanks and decent enough space for the flanks so they're not just like right on your ass. Um, and TPs. You always want to set your TPs. So in case you're holding an off angle you miss, you can always TP out, right? So basically using your utility a little bit more, I think would be very important. All right, W session. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.